Hello, veteran 012 in here. Welcome back. This is uh, another episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the last episode, I showed off some quests, most notably getting the Blinds Man's Biff's Quest update, or whatever it's called, Wisdom of a Warrior King. I uh, finished up the Serena quest, I turned in the Rab quest to upgrade his stats. Um, turned in the Legate's Blade quest, uh, yeah I did some things like that, you know, nothing really major. And in this video at the start here, I want to show where I've been farming Deathness Seeds. In my opinion, this is probably going to be the best place in the game to farm them. You farm them from these guys right here. These are malicious shade shifters. And typically Eric or Jade, you know, they'll get their turn, or if you wanna see Veronica or Serena kick ass. But yeah, this is my treasure party, obviously, I'm going with here. And you can fight three groups of two. And uh, if you're powered up like me, like at max strength, you'll easily kill these guys. These guys are weak. Weaker than brownies, so... I mean, the, the battles will go really quick. As you see, I just got one there. Um, yeah, I mean, this is fairly... I mean, this is more efficient than you'd think. Yeah, I want to show off the naughty stick here. Sorry, Eric. Take this. Oh man, I want to double there. But yeah, the first attack is gonna deal, you know, around somewhere a thousand-ish. I think if she's oomphed, it'll actually be more. But yeah, you fight that last bit there, and then you come back over here and and just go through the uh, and just zone out. Otherwise, you gotta wait for the enemies to respawn. It's easier just to zone out and zone back in. And then while you're doing that, I mean, you're auto saving too, which is kind of nice, especially if you're on the go. Uh, you don't really have to worry about saving so much because if you keep doing, you know, this over and over again, you pretty much know that you've been saving a lot. And get one there. Oh well. Yeah, I'll do this. This is the last bit I'm gonna do here. Let's go. <clears throat> but yeah, in this video, I'm I'm like I'm torn. I I kind of want to go to Drustin's Labyrinth right away, Trials area. But I kind of also want to do the, uh, the, the thing with, with Erdwin. Or not Erdwin, but, um... What's this fucking dad's name? It's not Erdwin, is it? I got... Erdwin's the, uh, the old Luminary guy. Why? I think his dad's name is Edwin? Huh. Fuck, Easy. I feel terrible now. I can't even remember his dad's name. Oh, well. I guess it's not... I, I'm not really too keen on getting his armor anyways. Alright. But yeah, you can do that to get Deafness Seeds. Actually, I might as well just use them real quick here. Well, I got 12. Uh, let's see. Let's give these to... Yeah, let's give these to Vet. I want to try and max out Vets as soon as possible. I want that... Legate's Blade to be... Hopefully critting. Oh crap, I didn't mean to give one to him. Oh crap, man. Uh, see, this is why sometimes when I get lazy, I do that. I don't like putting them in the top spot, but I should just put them in the top spot. Saves a lot of headaches. There we go. Oh, sorcery? Yeah, that won't hurt. Although I think Magical Might is pretty much maxed out for... Well, I could get a higher and maybe that'll help with uh, certain pet powers like... Um, God, what's that one that 
I've used in a long ass time that's really good that's um, earth elemental Tundra and Lightning, yeah, this one right here, man. This one is amazing. I imagine you could probably get it really powerful, too, if you got uh, Eric's Magical Might boosted just a little bit. I don't know. I, uh, at least for the, the Earth spells themselves, just using them by themselves, it really doesn't seem like it really, it really affects it all that much. Like, I gave... 200 magical might to Eric and his earth spell only gained like 70 uh, hit points of, of damage basically per round. I'm just like oh man that's that's not even worth it man especially for something where you gotta wait for the next round for it to or for the enemy to take action for it to go into effect. Anyways what am I doing here? I gotta stop talking here and actually do, do something here. So I'll just see you know, wait, wait a minute oh shit I can't zoom to Warrior's Rest? That's kind of lame. everything. Could it be? Hey, honey. Fighting school, that. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but yeah, legendary hero gear, huh? Sounds fantastic. be able to run into some new monsters though. I think. Hey cow. I know I talked to you before. Yeah, I, I don't know. I missed a cow somewhere playing this, but I don't care. I don't care about finding cows. Yeah, we got tigers, we got night clovers, or a Something that looks like a nightclub or what are they called? Pregos? <laughs> I already forgot. Something stupid like that. Yeah, those fuckers, man. I mean, they look. Are they nightclubbers? I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to fight them. Yeah, we could go to the inn there and get a. a dream about my old man, but you know what? We're not going to do that right now. We're going to come back to that later.
Yeah, I'm using the uh, Brilliant Blade instead of the uh, Gates Blade because uh, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning towards the defensive side of this weapon because it is kind of nice, especially when you pair it with the Great Sword Guard ability. You know, it's nice in those uh, dangerous boss fights against. Uh, <laughs> Against uh, Grandmaster Pang, you know? The cool thing about this new area that we're going to... Is that they have a whole bunch of new monsters. You can get some really rare, good stuff. I think you can find, like, uh, enemies where you can farm, like, see the magic fairly easily. The Hypothermians, I believe. I believe they'd be the malicious Hypothermians. If you can run into groups of three, that's that's definitely ideal. Three or more, actually, would be fantastic. But yeah, we're back to the uh, Dragon Quest II theme again, huh? So yeah, get to hear it again. That is definitely the way to go in life. pieces of treasure in the area so we gotta make sure to not fuck around here and miss something here where all these areas are gonna... Well, who knows where all this stuff is gonna take us, man. This is going on forever. Alright, Eric smells treasure. That's the main reason why we're here. How wonderful! Alright, so Vaughn was excited. <laughs> Sorry, Veronica. I know your legs weren't made for walking. They haven't grown enough yet. Ooh, here we go. There's gotta be something around here, right? Sacred armor! I don't know. I, I I think this is garb. Well, I don't know if it's garbage. I don't think I care about it though. 100 HP restored per turn. This is actually not garbage. This is actually not bad. Um, however, I prefer elemental reduction. I don't really need a HP regeneration. But if you pair this with other things that restore HP, like the restorative, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. You need a character to self heal. I mean, I don't know. I guess for one on one fights, that can be really good armor. But why give it? Why give it to us so late then? Because wh when do we have to do one on one fights anymore? We don't gotta do. Oh shit! Look at all these different directions you can go. Oh my goodness. Where does this go? Oh, we're back here. Oh, very interesting, eh? 
got a bunch of asshole dragons. We got some assholes in suits. Or at least I think they're in suits. Can't really tell with those guys, man. Oh, as long as you don't fight you stupid dragon that wants to put paralysis on you. Oh. That guy. That would be good. Sneak one in on me, are they? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I need to find one of them mount things, huh? It's been hindering my progress. Hey, fella. You want to fight? Let's go. Cause I think we're gonna fight. Ooh, you like that, huh? You're like, ooh, that tickles. All right. Ooh, it's not even in the red after that. That means this guy has some HP. Another one bites the dust. Used by the layout a little bit right now, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, teleporter. Dragon, another stupid fucking thing that I can't get through. Because I need a stupid mount that I can't find yet. I forgot what he even supposed to be. It's supposed to be those horns guys, right? Shit, why the fuck can't I find them? Where are those fuckers, man? Oh shit. I couldn't even remember if I came in here before or not. But, oh wait, I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. I don't think I did. Maybe I didn't. Memory sucks. I just hate how this these new areas are just recycles of old maps, though. I mean, yeah, it's new monsters, but it's old maps. I mean, it's maps we've been through before, just kind of like rearranged a little bit. Obviously. It was just kind of like all new stuff. Sorry, Dragon, you're not sparkling, so I'm not going to attack you. I'm not sure how I snuck past his ass there. <laughs> I was lucky. Like, how the fuck did I get past him? Okay, so. It's got to be one of the. It's got to be a case where. All right. I just got to go through more exits and see if I can find those big horn guys because apparently they're on the, one. They're on one of the other sides of those fucking uh, those ice barrier things. So. I'm just gonna have to play the game and... Let's see what happens if I go back this way, if it takes me to the, to the exact same... path. Oh, it does take you here. Okay. Alright, I just needed to confirm that. It wasn't one of those weird ones where, you know, if you turn around and do an about face, it'll take you to 
completely different fucking part of the map. Alright, so... I haven't tried going this way yet, so let's do that. Now, I haven't memorized this, so people are going, Oh man, you don't know this area that well? No, I don't. Sorry. Okay, so I think here we should be running into the, uh, the mount, right? Right? Right game. Holy shite. Kitties have a death wish. Thank goodness. I'll be going the next fight. Crap. Or maybe you gotta go through the teleporter to get to the the mount guy. Fuck it, let's try it. I don't even know at this point, man. I can't find what the hell you're supposed to do here. Oh. That was what you're supposed to do. Oh, well, perfect. Man. Should have trusted. I should have trusted the game in that. In that respect, the game was saying, "Hey, here's a big shiny teleporter. You should go here." Nice. <laughs> I care about though. There's a couple of them, right? A little ice barriers. Let me destroy you. Let me find you first. You gotta find them all. There's one. There's a chest. Get out of my way, bird. What do we got here? A serpent soul? Good grief. Come on, game. You can give me something better than that. Where's the good stuff? This place is crawling with bad guys. Let me guess, these guys drop deafness seeds too, right? Excellent. Excellent. That's right, Serena. Well, that was easy. Wonderful. Psych Swiper. I think that's supposed to be a good shield. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. It's got elemental damage reduction of 10%. It has a kind of a shitty block chance, though. I don't know. Well, actually, hold on. 
No, it only gets 1%. It still brings it down to 15%. But it is better. The black chance is not better, though. So, I mean, you're giving up some black chance, but you are giving... I don't know, man. And you have a chance to block spells? Or is it just talking about the damage reduction? Because if it can actually block spells, like evade spells entirely, that's damn good. I don't even know. It, does that shield actually do something like that? I don't know. The, the, again, the description is fucking misleading. Because all it looks like it does is it, is it uh, reduces elemental damage. I probably should just equip it anyway. Well, it's 2% black chance. 2% black chance for, like, what, 3% elemental chance? Yeah. Yeah, I think we have to go to the trial, like, go through the door to actually get out of here, but I don't want to do that yet, right? Oh, no, I do. I do! I do want to leave. So what happens when you go through... Hmm... Oh, one second here. One last thing. Get, get away from me, birds. One last thing I need to check here. One last thing I need to confirm. Send up over here again. And then we went to the teleport, and then I was up. Oh, then I was up there on the teleport. That's what I was looking at then. Okay. All right. So we're done here, man. We're done here. I'm done here. Let's fucking get the hell out. I cleared the way, so I don't have to worry about the mount anymore. I guess if you wanted to at this point in your game, you could uh, go around and fight all the monsters and beat the bus theory entries, but I'm going to skip all that and just advance. I'll do most... I mean, if there's any notable enemies later on that I need to show, I'll show them. If I incidentally fight stuff in the video, then I'll do that, obviously, but I'm not gonna waste time trying to do that all on. I mean, if I incidentally do it, like by accident, like there's only like four or five different monsters in an area and I do it easily, then that's one thing too. Now, what are we saying about these kind of areas, huh? Hmm. 
What can you do? <laughs> yeah, this is trial aisle here. I think we can actually buy a bunch of stuff here, can't we? Hey, you old monster guy. Oh, you beat the badness out of you and turned you into good guys, huh? Oh, isn't that nice? Speak with you. Yeah, so Hendrik is descended from a long line of heroes. You want to speak with little old me? James! Wait, what? Oh. A little slow, aren't you, dear Grandpa? I already figured that out. Oh, hey, hey there, fella. Oh, the password. Castle Ultra Origins, nice. Well, I'm glad I came this way then if I'm getting these guys. Alright, speaking of which, under info, passwords. Okay, so I gotta keep going then, huh? Get the last one? Calcum, nice. Something good. I like that. Well, those are actually, well, I would say they're easy to get, but they're fairly easy to get. Uh, that one quest earlier on in the game uh, that makes it so you get four treasures instead of three, you know, from the ore deposit thingies throughout the world is actually really good for that one if you can actually get lucky enough to get two ore calcum. Basically, you get to respawn. You just gotta zoom away and then zoom back to the camp, the uh, battleground campsite, and then um, and it'll pretty much be respawned every time. And then the enemy there that's got the Uber Gate Evolution, uh, he'll be respawned too. Otherwise, otherwise, I don't think that uh, that big enemy guy there uh, in the area actually spawns again, uh, unless you do that. Oh, perfection pearls, huh? Uh, I don't want to buy pearls. What do you sell? I have weapons, good weapons. Weapons for Luminary. Ooh, you do, hey? What do you have? A Griffin's Wing. It's a dagger that can surprise people. A Dark Star. Ooh, this is kind of nice. In fact, this is very nice. Plus 10 to agility. I will get this. Uh, yeah, equip new weapon there. I gotta make a decision here. How am I gonna. Do I want the Ash Ring, which deals lightning damage, has 27 charm over. Oh, I got flame pains in here too, huh? If I need fire damage. More damage to demons. And a 3% chance to confuse. I think... 
Yeah, well, I'm not always fighting demons, right? I mean, this is definitely better against demons, but I think most of the time, I think the lightning damage is going to be better. So I'll go with the astronaut. But yeah, this will be nice, eh? Another thing that I, I... See, I don't know if this is the case for this weapon as well, uh, but one thing I need to mention especially about the Anchor of Rancor is that it says 10% chance of oomph effect. Well, this is actually... Uh, the description's wrong. It's oomfo, not oomph. It was, if it was oomph, it would be uh, attack one. If it's a t it, when, when it does proc, it's attack two, so it's actually an oomfo effect. That's 10% chance, okay? So I'm thinking this probably is the case for the Dark Star as well, I hope. If it is the case, that's 50% boost, and that is going to be amazing when it does proc. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? So that was good. Seraph Stick, uh, I guess that's a good alternative for Serena. If you don't like the second Naughty Stick, it deals lightning damage. Staff, staff of Resurrection, not needed at all if you know how to get Yggdrasil Leaves. I mean, I show how to do that. Seraph Spear, this is a pretty good spear. Grace of the Goddess effect at the start of battle, which is kind of like auto life. If you max it out, you get 20%. That is pretty good, man. Not bad. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get one, though. Goddess Whip. More damage to humans. Yeah, we need that. Monster slashers. Don't care, the critical chance stinks. Conqueror's Axe, no. Doesn't have any special effects, it's crap. Silver Shield. Hmm. I guess it's okay. Ooh, here we go. Goddess Shield. Now we're talking. So I get something better for Hendrik. I, I think there is a better shield I can get for Hendrik later, but I will get that for now. Star Circlet. Conf confusion Resist. 30%. Don't care. Mirror Armor. Again, this is... It, this is Probably better in this game. I mean, this is this might be good for a few, like, I don't know, like if you're fighting a boss that uses spells and you have this equipped on Hendrik and you have him use Forbearance, this could make spells bounce back. Or you could just try to absorb them best you can with elemental reducing gear. You know. Or you could have some combination of that and the mirror armor. Who knows? I, I don't know. I'm going to probably... Uh, experiment a little bit. Angel's Roll, Perfect Panacea, Gold Nuglets, Gold Bars, you probably need for some kind of crap later. Might as well get a couple of these. This game's probably gonna need me to have a couple of those for something. Right? This is our Spectralite. Might as well buy some of these because I think we need these too, huh? Yeah? So sure, I got cash. And serpent bones. All right, yeah. What do you got, sir? Yes, gold is very important. Oh, you're the bank. Well, I will withdraw that 30,000 that you have. I will cancel my services with you. Your services are no longer needed for now. Oh yeah, we have the, uh, the forge here if you need it. What do you have, good sir? Legend of Erdwin. Super, super sort of lights. All 
right, so we gotta pass trials. Which one do you take first? I don't know. Oh, we gotta pass the trial of Disciple. Speak to friend, blue friend, touch ceiling. Okay. Oh, I guess we gotta do these in order then, huh? Alright. Trial Disciple, Trial Sage, Trial Luminary, this Trial Disciple. Easiest, but still hard. Take care. That's not hard. I can be walk from there to there. It's not hard at all. I'm just kidding. I'm just being silly. Calm down. Oop, the cruel crypt. Three pieces of treasure in this area. Holy crap. What are you doing to me? Let's go. Get a big head. Why wouldn't I have a big head about this? <sighs> you wanted to speak to me? G15 Don't you sound fancy Yeah I Just turned you into a fancy piece of scrap And we got a sword of judgment Wow that sounds extremely awesome Is it Is it awesome here yeah? What is it not bad actually. Reduces attack power when attacking 8% chance. Pretty decent attack. I don't know. Seems like a pretty good sword actually. <laughs> oh, these guys drop spectrolites too, huh? Yeah, those guys suck. Shades suck. I think I got a lot of these guys already. Statue of Trustin is a message inscribed in the base. 
Welcome, Luminary, to my labyrinth, though great trials await thee here. Thou canst not, yeah, must not lose heart. Call upon the strength thou hast acquired in the course of thine investments. Thanks for your voice, pal. Of course, Whip Crack would probably kill them and uh, not give anybody else a turn there. An Umbra! Hello, Umbra. Oh no! Yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I, w I wanted to come down here anyways. Let's do this. Because I knew I'd have to check it out, because I know I probably got loot down here. Double down is just gonna obliterate them. I'm just, I just want to see if that's gonna like. Okay, that's not. Good. Let's go with a little more femme fatale. This skill's all right. It's Jade's turn. You gotta do some AOE damage against a couple groups. That's pretty good. Pretty easy with this guy, too. Another reason to come down here. Whoa! Go the other way, fuckers. Oh, well, we're gonna fight the slot machines. Want some? There we go. Erwin's bracelet. All right, we got that item for the uh, the quest. Power up the uh, the luminary abilities. So, if you want to complete that quest, you can do that now. Or if you like me and you don't care, then we'll just continue on here. We can get coins. Oh no! I got attacked by one of these guys. I'm scared. I won't just whip crack on this. Okay, so Eric does get the oomph effect as well. Yeah, that is really good, man. That dark, that dark, that makes that dark star boomerang extremely good. I want to see how much this does. Yeah, that's fucking crazy good damage. Thank goodness. You guys should have waited to fucking show off the, uh, the stupid trials. Oh, we got some, uh, what are those? Bubble, oh, they're just bubble slimes. Oh, 
so many models. Well, here you go, folks. This is the enemy that has mini metals. If you want to steal them with Eric, you can. And also, that there's an added benefit of fighting them, you can get Yggdrasil leaves too. So, there you go. I will probably do that later or some other time. Oh, wow, there's six pieces of treasure in this area. I think that was one. Oh crap, get away from me. Fox. Why must you attack me? Don't you know you will lose? Well, that's a. Oh. That's a metal one. You can't tell, man, because of the lighting. One piece of treasure. It's gotta be this way. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. Oh wait, what? Oh, I gotta climb up. Duh. Get out of my way. Fuckers. Fucking a gate of evolution? Come on, man. There we go. Where is the other chest? There is another chest. Right? Isn't there? Who's that? I've got to fall down a different hole then. I gotta fall down. Oh man, I gotta get another fucking mount too. I gotta fall down a different hole. A different hole. I gotta fall down a different hole. Gotta be what it is. Metal slimes doing what metal Let's slimes go, do. Fucking run like chicken shits. There we go. This is the one. I, yep, this is the one I was thinking of. That uh, King of the Rings. Oh, here we go. Catholicon rings and goddess rings. Holy shit. Especially the Catholicon rings, man. 
Those are really good. Give your sister a turn here. Please don't miss! <laughs> Please don't miss! <laughs> you hear that shit? Dude, that is fucking right. hilarious. The first time I heard that, I was like, what? Did she just say that? Did she just say what I thought I heard her say? Fucking awesome, man. Did she say that when wielding the naughty stick in vanilla DQ11? Okay, so there's gonna be how many up here still? Three, right? Or two? Uh, oh, shit, I just fucking fucked up again. In a way, it's kind of like tricking you because now it's like I want to actually go down all the, the holes to find out if it leads to loot, you know what I mean? Might be one this way, right? Is there? Is there? Is there? No? Oops. There was a chest on the other side of that hole. In the original, well, in the cryptic crypt. There's a chest. Too many metals? For fuck's sake, man. Why are you giving me such fucking piddly garbage at this point? You can steal those now. You don't even need them in chess. So there's only one, right? Yeah. What the fuck is this shit? trying to open oh it was a mimic Okay, so that should... Oh, fuck. Of course I had to go and do that. Ugh. Okay, no loop left in the area. Absolutely fantabulous, as Solana would say. Oh, fuck me. 
Unless you run into a hole. Oh, another hole. Is this the one where you have to actually go down the hole to progress? I don't want this one. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, yeah it is. That far hole is the one you want to go down. That's how you progress. Damn, doing this all fucking wrong. Well, at least I got all the loot. That's the important thing. I think I remember recording this last time I was playing this game and having difficulties in this part. I don't know why I'm having difficulties in this part right now, but I am. I feel stupid too because it doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Yeah, I can't go that way. What the fuck? I gotta go be able to go some way here. I guess I gotta fall down this hole. This is the farthest hole. Right? Yeah. Should've went, should've went with my instincts, man. My instincts were saying, No, I should have to fall down that hole, right? But then I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I should check over here, though, first. Just to make sure. Alright, now we're good. So, I'm still in the Disciples' Trial as far as I know, so I'll continue on uh, in the next episode of Dragon Quest XI. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.